All right, man, where to begin? Where to start? What to say? But, first things first, man, y'all been killing me, man. Y'all been killing me. So, uh, my last, or one of my past videos I just did, I did about the whole uh, stock X is gonna start charging. And yes, I know, other sites will be charging too. And I kind of said that in the video as well. I mean, I know it's not a stock X thing. I did, you know, I thought I said it was a governor, governor thing, but y'all was killing me. Killing me. But anyways, look, I got some information. I got a little bit of good news, a little bit of bad news. But, so yes, if we, if you haven't been knowing lately, StockX will be charging, not just StockX, okay? But I'm gonna just, for instance, uh, StockX will be char start charging uh, sales taxes on certain states. That is right. Uh, will it be all states? No. Uh, we got some more information about that right now. We got, there was uh, on their on their FAQ, their uh, frequent answers and question page or something like that. Anyways, it was written by the StockX support team. Uh, due to Supreme decision e businesses such as StockX are now required to collect state sales taxes from buyers buyers in the following states alabama arizona connecticut I iowa louisiana oklahoma and washington there it is guys that is it seven states as of right now okay so everybody just call Calm down, sir, okay? Everybody calm down. We mean no one else any harm. Now every state's gonna be charged for buyer's uh, taxes. One of my homies, he does live in Connecticut, and he said yes, he's getting charged for sales taxes, which is kind of sucky, so just more money out there. And a lot of people was like, why well, you complain about getting charged for extra 20 dollars? Like, bro, like if you're gonna buy a whole bunch of shoes, why do you wanna keep spending extra more money on top of that? I don't know, man, you guys just, I just can't catch a break, I swear. Like I'm trying to, like I don't know why you're killing me. Like I'm just a messenger, man. Like you know, I'm just trying to. I'm just, I'm, I'm just reporting the news, and I'm just giving my opinion about it. That's all it is. Nothing too crazy. I didn't say it's all their fault or anything or anything crazy. I just said, look, there's gonna be more money on top of what you have to buy. Okay, so be prepared for the people that live in those states, guys. Good luck out there. Um, I guess maybe reselling that, or maybe in those states. Looks like you have to do a little more of your side hustle. And yes, I even got flamed on that. Like, oh, now you want people to go risk their lives or something? No, of course not, man. Of course not. Don't risk your life for sneakers, guys. Like, seriously, dead ass. Do not risk your life for sneakers. It's not worth it. If you gotta pay a little extra to get what you want, go do it. It's well, it's not worth your life, okay? Everybody. It comes to down, so. But, you know, if you do do meetups, you know, there's other ways to be safe, you know, like make sure you bring a buddy or a friend or definitely meet up in a public place. Do not go anywhere like a dark alley or anything like that. That's, come, just use common sense, you know. Just be like, hey, yo, meet me inside the food court. I've done many, many deals like that and everything's been fine. I'm still here so far. <laughs> anyway, so that's the first part of this video is the whole StockX tax thing. It's gonna be on those certain states now. So we know that information. But another thing I wanna address is about this whole YouTube thing, guys. Um, a lot of people have been hitting me up. A lot of up and coming YouTubers right now, they've been uh, hitting me in the DMs and messaging me or just even meeting up or when I talk to them, uh, just asking for advice and stuff like that. Like, yo, how can I get my channel pop? How can I get a big subs? Like, you know, da 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 and, and this and this and that and asking for advice. And you know what? Thank you guys for coming up to me and thank you for looking at me that way because I've never looked at my channel like it's huge and big, like definitely it is not. I don't think it's big at all. I think it's, I'm very grateful and thankful for what I have, but am I anything like the the bigger people? And, and I don't, No, of course not. You know, I never looked at myself like that. I've always looked, I even, I still look at myself as a smaller channel, like I do. I really look at myself as a small channel, but I do what I can and, and uh, I do, you know, I try, I try my best out there, you know? I try my best. For any uh, up and coming YouTubers out there, uh, here's a couple of advice for you guys. So this video is gonna be about some advice for starting off a YouTube channel, okay guys? All my advice. I'm giving out the gems right here, okay? Cause uh, first of all, I went into, I forgot whose podcast it was. I wasn't on it, but I went there and I commented and I just saw a lot of people out there. See, I see a lot of love, man. A lot of these up and coming YouTubers coming together. They're sharing secrets and all that. I'm, and over there, I'm kind of like, bro, what are you doing, man? You're not supposed to do that. No, but no, seriously. I, I figured, you know what? Let me put my take on it. Cause if anyone want to share secrets or not share secrets, it's just, just some advice, you know? And well, I guess you could call it secrets. Anyways, this is like what works for me. Everyone's different. So uh, my maybe my way doesn't work for you or maybe your way works for you or so on and so forth. So anyways, um, 
first things first guys please 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 stop looking at subs do not look at the sub counts like that's the first thing you do if you keep keep track of sub counts and look at sub counts you've already took it you already lost like that's already a big thing like I, like when people like had the countdown and want to keep looking at subs and that, like dude stop worrying about that subs it's obsolete the sub count is obsolete First of all, if anything you want to look at, anything you really want to look at as in numbers, look at views on each per video, okay? So let's, for instance, if uh, some channel out there maybe have like a hundred or a big number sub counts, but they only get like, you know, nothing. They get no no video, no video, views. What's the point of having all that sub counts if you get no views? So just concentrate on view counts on per video. So you want your view counts to be up. That's the main, that it should be your number one goal in this YouTube, okay? Always look at the views. If you have high views, the subs will, sub count will come, but I'd rather have higher view counts. So another thing is too, uh, usually, honestly, as a sneaker YouTuber, cause this is gonna be mainly for sneaker YouTube, okay? So as a sneaker YouTuber, for any video out there, it's gonna be like a race. This, this is now a race, honestly. Uh, basically having early reviews is like a, it's like you're, you have one step ahead of everybody. So, uh, early reviews help. It definitely helps. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, it does help out quite a bit. But, let's say for the regular people like me and you, or just me in general, let's say you have a shoe that's coming out this weekend or so on and so forth. Let's say, like the court purples here, okay? These came out maybe two, three months ago. You want to drop this video instantly, right away. You want to drop this video. You picking up, review, whatever you got, whatever it is. Drop the video fast. Do not wait one day, two days. Once, once one week uh, goes, that's it. It's dead. It's pretty much. Don't don't expect any views. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Some people are different, honestly. But if let's say if I drop this, if I drop this uh, review video or whatever like that today, I think it's dropped like two months ago. It's a done deal. It's dead. Okay, seriously. So that's my advice. It is a race. I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, you got to think about it. There's over thousands and hundreds, thousands of sneaker YouTubers now. And YouTubers in general that do shoe reviews. And if you're not one of the first ones, if you don't drop it in time, man, and you drop it so late, you're gonna be left behind. Like, most people are gonna see the other views have more of a view count than the ones that don't have a view count, or some people don't even know you. So that's my advice. Make sure it has to be on time. Another thing too is timing, you know? Sometimes time, um, drop in a video what, what time is best for you. So that depends on, e D uh, depends on people's accounts and your views or, or your subs, you know? Maybe your subs are more active during the day, maybe your subs are more active during the night. You gotta figure out what is the best time for you. For instance, for me, I like to drop mine usually kinda late at night when I get off work, usually because that's the only time I can do it, but I feel like that's kinda thing that worked for me. Uh, don't be dropping your, I don't think dropping your video Eastern time, 6 a.m. is any good. I, don't, I think that's a bad idea. And another thing too is, man, is just quality of camera. You gotta be the quality of videos, man. No one wants to see a blurry uh, video, crappy audio. No one wants to see that. Get some quality stuff out there. I always, everyone always hit me up. Everyone hits me up that wants to start a YouTube channel. What camera should I get? Should I get the DSLR, the 90D, 100D, 67T7, da 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 Guys, if you're just starting off, it's okay to use your phone at first or something like that. But if you wanna take it to the next level, Look into a G7X Canon, okay? It is one of the best cameras out there, G7X, that's right. It flips up, it's very fantastic, it's great for vlogging, it's great for videos, the quality is pretty good. All I'm saying, look into a G7X. It's not that very expensive compared to something like I have here. I got a big rig right here. All right, so for instance, this is my main, uh, my main big camera. Obviously, I can't show it to you because I'm recording with it. It's the ADD right here, bam. Uh, this is a highly expensive camera, but you know, for the quality and everything, this is the way to go. But my vlogging camera used to be the G7X, but right now I'm using the, uh, the M50. It's very nice, lightweight, and compact and everything. Shows a flip out camera like this. And you know, you can change the lenses and stuff and even have a mic. So I feel like this is a very good vlogging camera. I kinda wish I still had the G7X, but. But if you still wanna vlog with your camera, it's where your phone is fine. Just make sure you clean the lens, okay? And just have good, make sure just good quality. No one wants to see that blurry crap, okay? I don't know, I, in my opinion, I say invest into a good camera, man. I mean, why not? You're gonna, if you wanna take this YouTube thing really serious, 
But then again, anyone that has a cell phone and a pair of shoes is a YouTuber now, so. And my next advice, I'll give you the whole, you know, cliche, be yourself, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, uh, another good one is for real, stay consistent. For real, honestly, stay consistent. Consistent, stay consistent. I mean, does that mean you have to drop every single uh, video every single day? Of course not. You don't have to do it every single day, but you definitely need to stay consistent. I mean, at least, I mean, it, it'd be good to drop a video maybe two to three times in a, a minimum a week. You know, I know it, it sounds a lot, it's asking for a lot, but if you don't wanna get left behind and you wanna keep building your, your channel and your brand, I mean, really, seriously, stay consistent. Stay consistent, seriously. Uh, I see people that takes a big, hi you know, big hiatus and just goes away for like four or five months, and then after that, the channel basically just like this. So, stay consistent. Um, be creative. You know, that's another thing, guys. Be creative. This is your channel. This is for who you are. It's supposed to show your personality and whatever you want it to be. You are now a content creator. You're a content influencer. You influence people out there with talking to this camera and everything out there like that. Like seriously, be creative, use your mind, you know, be, work on your craft, do whatever you wanna do, you know? This is all on you now. But seriously, you have to work on thumbnails. Honestly, dead ass. Like it's very, very, very important, thumbnails. Thumbnails, thumbnails, thumbnails. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say that really so many times. Thumbnails, seriously, gotta have good thumbnails. Um, what I mean by good thumbnails, I say talk about core purples, you wanna be like this, BAM! That's perfect, right there. You see that thumbnail right there? BAM! Put your little words right here and there, perfect. Thumbnails, why? Because that's the first person, when someone first figured out your channel, the first thing they see throughout your whole channel, they're gonna look at the thumbnails, that's how they judge. You ever heard the term, don't judge a book by its cover? Well, scratch that. You're definitely judging a book by its cover. So thumbnails, thumbnails, thumbnails. I don't know what else other advice I can give you guys, honestly. It's just, honestly, at the end of the day, really, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, it's all on you. I mean, it's all on you at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's all on you, you know? People's gonna wanna watch who they like. People's, you know, people have to end up liking you, you know? Or liking what you do, or liking your content, you know? At the end of the day, people have to like it. People are not gonna like anything that they don't wanna see or if it's boring or bull crap or whatever like that. In a day, people just have to like you, man, for real. Like it's, I mean, even though I get a lot of haters. <laughs> I mean, for a sneaker YouTuber, I mean, number one, honestly, you just gotta pick up shoes. You gotta pick up shoes, guys, seriously, dead ass. You gotta make pickups, you know? Can't do a sneaker YouTube channel without picking up shoes. It's like, it's like having a makeup tutorial channel and you don't do makeup. But that's it, man. That's all the advice I can get you guys, man. Honestly, if anyone out there, if you want to, if you want to start a YouTube channel or you're up and coming YouTube, whatever, feel free to hit me up, man. I'm here to support and help try to help everyone out best as I can. I'll do my best. I am not, I am not the greatest out there. I am not the biggest out there at all. But I do my best. And I do my best out there. You know, like I try to help everyone out, and you know, I try to give a little bit of my secrets here and there. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, just hit me up, guys. I'll be more than happy to help anyone out there, okay? Open invitation. Just don't be an ass. This is a nice community, man. I appreciate everything. Uh, YouTube have picked me so, f taken me so far, like, you know, going to like SneakerCon, meeting up with people. I'm very, very blessed and I'm very, very thankful. Thank you guys so much just for sharing uh, my channel, you know? And I try to do my best out there, guys. I really do. I work really hard with this. Like, that's another thing, too, is that some people don't understand about this whole sneaker YouTube. It's not easy, like this stuff here, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication and a lot of work ethics and just, it's it's a lot, you know, especially people out there that has school, full-time job and, and stuff like that and family, you know, like this takes a lot and, you know, it's, I just hope people can understand that, like this is not easy for everybody out there. Like, you know, if anyone out there, if you think you can do better, you know, I challenge everyone out there that's even thinking about starting a YouTube channel to do it and send me a link to your channel because I want to see it, you know? Be comfortable with the camera. That's another uh, advice I give you guys, you know? Look at the camera, get used to it. You have to be comfortable with the camera, you know? I see a lot of people out there like, oh, it's your camera, this is the core purpose. You know, seriously, just be comfortable with it and, you know, and try to enjoy it and just, you just gotta get used to it, you know? I've been doing YouTube for four or five, so I, yeah, I've been doing YouTube for three or four years, so, you know, I'm, I'm pretty used to certain things and certain aspects, but. 
It is what it is, guys. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below. And please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop big guys. All right, I will be, I guess, I don't know what else is coming up. A couple vlog, uh, videos and vlogs coming up. And if anyone's out there going to be out there at SneakerCon Fort Lauderdale, hit me up because I will be there. Yes, that is right. Hope to see you guys there. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.